everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. It's not really a challenge run today, except for the fact that I am going to be using Eve. This is just going to be a straight up Eve vanilla run, but playing as Eve is almost more of a legitimate challenge uh, than any challenge runs I've done recently. Although, I will say, you know, compared to Isaac's natural tears, does it seem like Eve fires a little bit faster? I may or may not be right about that, I honestly have no idea. Let's save this death card for the boss, because you never know. Maybe we will just have dog shit items by the time we meet the boss, which is fairly likely, considering who we are playing as. But in any case, I'm trying to think of a title for this one, and I'm like, well, you know, it's probably the first time I've played Eve in 2013, so why don't we call this the New Year's Eve run? Dr. Evil Pinky to Mouth.jpg. Let's see what we've got going on here. we got the Parasite, interesting item for sure. What do I want here? Uh, I think I want uh, spirit hearts. Well, okay, this isn't it. What I was thinking, spirit hearts, and then we trade uh, our health away to the deal with the devil on the next floor. Roll whore Babylon permanent curse state. Uh, could work, who knows. But for now, I'm just going to use the death card there, hopefully. Ooh, speed things up a little bit at the very least. Um, I guess we're just going to take things as they come, but definitely a deal with the devil is going to be a big part of our plan for success as Eve. Because otherwise... We're gonna find ourselves in a very difficult position. Eve is really the best when, not the best character in the game, but she's at her best, I guess I should say. When you're able to get rid of your hearts and actually leverage the fact that she has uh, the Horror of Babylon kind of built in. The dead bird, I don't even know how to use that properly offensively. You'd probably need something like a ton of fucking health and like the razor blade or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, anyway. In any case, it's, Eve's one of those characters. Oh, shit! <laughs> He was one of those characters where, that this has gone terribly so far, uh, she's kind of like a situational power, you know? Like, she's not very good in her own right, but given the certain, certain conditions, again, like deals with the devil, uh, you know, picking up items like the relic or the miter that give her a ton of spirit hearts, she can be pretty vi uh, valuable. I was gonna say vital, but that doesn't really make any sense. So we got Sacrificial Dagger, I was really hoping that was Mom's Knife, but no such luck. Obviously Mom's Knife would benefit us, because we do have fairly low starting damage here, but... I mean, who doesn't in this day and age, right? Hopefully we find some hearts in the near future because I'm a little bit worried about the fact that, you know, a single boss, depending on who it is, could actually kill me here. Or not even a single boss, a single hit could kill me here. But we should be coming up to the boss room very quickly, which I think was what took over my train of thought there. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay, we survived. Oh, I did not expect that. Uh, let us check out our secret room, which is likely here because this floor is so small. Lucky us. We find a fortune teller, which is worth playing. Again, spirit hearts could be very valuable here. Uh, the hermit takes us directly to the shop. We can't do anything with that information yet. Two of clubs doubles our keys or bombs? Okay, well, we, we got some use out of this. Two of clubs doubles our bombs. Uh, so I'm going to use one of those bombs to bomb the fortune teller, see if we can't get a spirit heart. Indeed we did. So now if I don't take any damage and I manage to get, like, mom's knife or something... Uh, we could possibly make something good come of this, but I would really love to use this last bomb to open up a tinted rock and pick up some spirit hearts. Okay, managed to make that work. Curse room is obviously out of the question right now. In here we have a number of asshole spiders. And I would love a death card, but sadly that seems to be out of the question right now. Parasite is such an interesting item choice. It has the potential to be like a nice modifier to uh, so many tier effects, but we have to get those tier effects in the first place, so we don't really have too much going for us right here. We might as well shoot this fire, because you never know. The money could make the shop worthwhile on this floor if we manage to find like a renegade dime or something, which we didn't, of course. Uh, but really, I just want some red hearts to kind of ensure that I'll be alive a little bit longer, which is, you know, pretty important in the whole scheme of things in The Binding of Isaac. If you're looking to beat the game, uh, being alive as long as possible uh, generally tends to have a fairly high correlation with successful runs. So come on, spider bro. Good tactics. Not worth a bomb to access that half heart. At least not yet. We'll see what happens versus Dookie F here. Now, this should be a fairly easy fight. Uh, it's just a champion version, which I don't know. I'm not sure what the special ability of this champion is. Seems to be spawn a number of assholes that annoy the shit out of me. And I'm going to use a bomb here. Just to speed things up a little bit. I realize I need that bomb to access some tinted rocks in the future. Hopefully we'll get some more. Uh, but this is going to save me from taking damage. We got another spirit heart, which now makes me feel a lot more confident about possibly taking a deal with the devil, which we won't get regardless. So, down to the next floor. How are we doing? Well, not great. Uh, we ended up picking up... What did we even get from that boss? 
I've totally forgotten already. I did not just skip over the boss item, did I? Am I the biggest idiot in the world? I honestly can't remember what I just took, like, right now. Spear darts, parasites, sacrificial dagger, meat cube. Oh, that was bad damage. Um, I don't know. Maybe I did just randomly skip over the item in there. If so, uh, I apologize for the fact that I'm probably having a brain aneurysm right now. Guess I'll just have to beat the game to make up for it. Otherwise, I'll never hear the end of that one. So, let's blow up these bomb flies. Without slowdown, if possible. Thank you, game. Uh, and we really need some solid, you know, high-quality black tar Colombian good items here. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, we'll see what we get from our boss room again, because we're already here. Oh my god, the worst items we could possibly get. I guess I can't blame anybody but myself, considering I may have, in fact, um, simply gotten rid of an item by walking past it. Unless I've just, again, totally had, like, a, I'm having a stroke right now and I've forgotten what item I actually did get in there. In any case, it's not important anymore. It was probably garbage. It was mom's knife, wasn't it? It was the pentagram. It was everything Eve needed and more. Okay, just back it away. As long as we keep Chubb doing this, he won't spawn asshole silkworms. Which will put me in a better position. We do actually have a deal with the devil. For once, we have no spirit hearts to make it work. Fuck. Okay, here's what we do. We take this. Because that gives us one spirit heart. And kills us at the same time, apparently. Alright, we're restarting our Eve run here. I don't know what the hell went wrong in like the last 10 seconds. I really thought, I mean, I realized that the, the pact took our... All our, was it the pact? Yeah, or the mark. The mark took all of our spirit, our regular hearts, but it gave us a spirit heart. I kind of thought it went in the opposite order than it actually did, I guess. The way I thought it worked is that it gives you the spirit heart, then takes your hearts. But clearly it takes your hearts, and then after you die, it gives you a spirit heart. And you're supposed to be like, oh, thank you very much, game. Well, you know what, game? Fuck you very much. Uh, we have the box of tarot cards in here. Or deck of cards, I should say. Which gives us the hermit, which will allow us to go to the shop, but is largely worthless apart from that. I like the deck of cards. Uh, it has the potential to be very good for us. It also has the potential to be totally garbage, but uh, there are a lot of good cards that could benefit me a lot, especially if we end up getting, uh, you know, those like bicycle type cards or playing cards. I don't know why I call them. Well, I know why I call them bicycle cards, uh, but I don't know why I continually call them bicycle cards in any case. We have no bombs, and we're not going to get any bombs unless one randomly drops outside of the center of the level here, which is very unlikely. Uh, we might as well shoot this red heart just in case. Again, if we get a bomb, I would love to pop open that center of the map, but sadly, no. That treasure chest will remain untouched, at least for now. This one, however, we can definitely get to. And we might as well use this bomb to access that treasure chest, which could contain more bombs and keys in the first place. So let's blow this up. Please don't... Ah, well, we ended up getting basically nothing for that. There's another half red heart that is now accessible to me, but at least we didn't lose anything. And I really did not want to open that shop, so I'm glad that things worked out the way that they did there. And we still have one more item. I probably should not. There we go. Um, we still have one more item room left to go on this floor. And then two bosses. And I'm really hoping we can basically execute exactly the plan that I wanted to execute last time. Which was like, you know, get some HP, deals with the devil. Or don't get some HP, just get some spirit hearts instead. Roll a permanent Whore of Babylon. Permanent curse state if you're a, a more religious viewer of the channel. I oh, okay. That hurts. That guy could kill me. Green spider could actually end my life. There we go. Pink spider might be able to do the same, actually. Thank you for the spirit heart. I will absolutely take that. And the money. But let's just back it up. Okay, we got more keys. Keys have been coming fast and furious so far on this run. Haven't been playing spectacularly, but I haven't been playing awfully either. So uh, I can't really say that things have been going super terribly. I mean, it's just been kind of a middling experience with Eve so far. Now, we do have another Tinted Rock. This is where things could really turn around for us. Or, you know, it's not really turn around because we're not going in the wrong direction, as I just said. But, you know, get better for us, shall we say. Get some more HP by way of Spirit Hearts. Get, you know, a damage upgrade by way of the small rock. Who knows? Let's see. Uh, well, we don't even have to use a bomb here, so we're going to see what we get. Two Spirit Hearts. Fantastic. More money and keys. We could actually make the shop worthwhile on this floor, much to my surprise. Now, just hang out because these... Fires are going to be annoying as hell, but it's totally possible the spiders themselves will just walk into them if I don't shoot them. But I am going to shoot them to get that sweet free nickel, which was very unexpected. Again, more bombs. And what is our tarot card? The sun. Okay. Well, it's not a tarot card, really. I guess it is. Uh, we're going to use the hermit just randomly because why not? I absolutely do want to buy Nun's Habit. In order to do so, we are going to need a little bit more money. 
Maybe our secret room is over here? I would really hate to leave this floor without getting Nun's Habit. Oh, uh, don't hurt me like this game. Hopefully we get a little money out of this. We got two more bombs, so actually that paid for itself with respect to bombs. We basically haven't lost anything yet, but this has been kind of a labyrinthine first floor here. Surprising, given that we are only on the cellar, but I guess it is cellar XL. Oh, okay, that was close. We do have our item room here. Kind of hope that we get Pageant Boy, actually, for once. There's one out of five that we need in order to buy that Nun's Habit. We get Toothpicks, good item. Tears upgrade, I'm fine with that. Uh, we shoot a little bit faster and more damage? I don't know, just because the tears change color doesn't necessarily mean they're any better. Uh, and that's what the commenters tell me anyway. I previously thought that that was not the case. However, we still have a few more rooms to go to here. Definitely we'll be shooting all of the available fires to see if we can get a little bit of extra money. I would hate to leave the floor without Nun's Habit knowing I probably would not get it again. But uh, this is a good thing. There's a lot of positive possible benefits here and there's a lot of, uh, you know, potential hardship. But there's still, everything's still up in the air with respect to what we could get, so... Uh, there's a lot of promise. We're like a newborn babe at this point. Oh! Uh, we, we could become President of the United States, or we could end up, you know, being the world's next, next Nicki Minaj. I don't know why Nicki Minaj has suddenly become the target of ridicule on my channel. Uh, I mean, I'm sure she doesn't care. What do we have here? Wheel of Fortune. We'll blow that up to see if we can't get, uh, some extra... Oh! It didn't work! I tried to put the slot machine, or the, the fortune teller down. Next to the exploding dude. Maybe I can try it this way. Get out of the- oh, that's well, not gonna work. Um... Yeah, I don't know why she's become the target of ridicule on the channel now. It's kind of unfair. I actually think Super Bass is a pretty catchy pop song. This is a long-ass floor, man. But yes, and so that's just my way of saying, you know, I'm sorry, Nicki Minaj. If you ever want to bless me with, you know, even tens of thousands of dollars, I, I would be very pleased to dip into your modest fortune. Probably major fortune at this point. Anyway, yes, destroy each other. Ba-boom! One more cent. We still got a little bit more backtracking to do, because obviously I don't want to just abandon this floor. Uh, but first things first, let's fight famine and get our compulsory cube of meat from the first floor. Compulsory cube of meat sounds like high school lunches. And we'll just keep this up. Our damage is fairly low right now, which is obviously, uh, you know, not preferable for me. But let's just do this the old-fashioned way with famine. Get him to summon a bunch of dickwads then cause him to kill them all, like so, or at least hurt them. I guess Grandfather Flies don't die in one Famine hit, which strikes me as kind of crazy. Oh, that's more stupid damage. Don't lose your Spirit Arts. This is actually the most valuable resource that I have right now. Oh, almost took some damage there. Dead Bird is actually, for once, doing exactly the right thing, and I hate him for it. I really wish he would just attack that Renegade Grandfather Fly, thereby allowing me to kind of take out Famine myself. And avoiding things like that. There we go, he's dead. How about you, Grandfather Fly Spirit Hearts, please? Nope. Hero Font. Okay, never mind. Spirit Hearts, yes. We will take our single cube of meat and move on to the next room where we will be fighting the Widow, who is a very easy boss for us to be fighting at this point. We just gotta make sure you stand reasonably far away and make sure that it does, or we move every time it does a jump. Preferably, uh, you know, in a different cardinal direction to the one we started in. It's about half dead. I'm pleased with that so far. There are two nubs on the screen that might be as high as it can possibly go. Spiders are going to be annoying, uh, and this fight's going to slow down just a little bit, but this is our potential to get a deal with the devil, you know? If I somehow manage to not take any damage over the rest of this fight, I'd say we've got a decent shot at it. You know, pick up a brimstone, pick up a mom's knife, anything along those lines, really. Improve my chances of success. Okay, now go straight for the nubs. The spiders are mostly dead. How about this guy? That was a good uh, tactical fight. I mean, we're 15 minutes in and we're only finishing the first floor. In fact, oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, the extra damage and tears are fine. We're not even finished the first floor because we still want to go get that sun card, if nothing else. But I really want to get that uh, nun's habit. In the meantime, while we're backtracking, it's time for Northern Lion's Coffee Hour. Mmm. It's actually the perfect temperature. Again, it's the early hour of 11.50 a.m. here on a Friday, so it's very important I get my caffeine fix. It's actually not fair. When I say things like that, I'm sure it kind of like inspires some people to be like, Man, fuck that guy. Gets up at 11. Blah, 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 blah. I actually like normally have a fairly good sleep schedule. I go to bed at like midnight, get up at 8 usually. Which is still, believe me, I, I understand that's a luxury. Uh, damn it, we have no more money. 
Well, I guess we're going to have to abandon Nun's Habit. We can buy keys or spirit arts, but I don't think it's essential. Um, but yeah, I just spend like the first hour of my morning sometimes just like taking a shower and drinking some coffee and reading the news. So, you know, it's, I'm not getting a late start to my day necessarily. I just like to ease into my Fridays. Please give me a nickel here. No, nope, nothing. Okay. So it's down to the next floor. Uh, I'm not happy about leaving Nun's Habit. I'm not happy about not getting a deal with the devil. Um, deck of cards has been fine. I mean, it's paid out fairly well, at least. It gave us the, at least one hero font. Or was that? Yeah, that was from the deck of cards. So it gave us at least one hero font, which is equal to two spirit arts, as well as the sun card. And the hermit card in the first place, which did save us a key, probably. Uh, we're going to use the sun card. I hate to do it, but I did it just to avoid taking damage. We'll see who our mini boss is in here. Gluttony, perfect. More HP would be fine by me. Uh, again, yes, I hated to use the sun card, but at the same time, I thought it was a, a valuable course of action. Because I was almost positive I was going to take damage from those green dudes. If we hold on to deck of cards for a while, we'll probably get another sun card eventually anyway. What were the odds of me holding on to that sun card until the end of the game? Basically zero, so why not use it quickly and just remove the chance for me to take damage in the first place. Thank you, Cuba Meat. We get some red hearts, which are not valuable. We're going to make our way down to this boss room, uh, item room corridor here. Because we never know what we're going to get there. And that will kind of color uh, our experience on the rest of the floor. I was pretty sure I was going to die there, which is what explains that orgasmic uh, that I've made. And immediately feel sorry for repeating. Wow, that was a, an unbelievable turn from that conga liner. Apparently they can smell me. Uh, we have the tower card, which we might try to use to access the secret room. I hate this room as well. Don't fuck me. Okay, dead bird, you are my number one resource here. A don't fuck me line sounded like a motorcycle going into sixth gear or something. I don't know anything about motorcycles, so that doesn't make any sense. I apologize. It's the sack of pennies. It's okay. It's going to help us maybe be able to go to shops in the future. We have Pestilence. I don't know why, but I kind of like to imagine him having a Spanish name. Uh, I use the tower card here to hurt myself because I'm an idiot. No, I didn't actually hurt myself there somehow. Stood in like the 2% of the screen where I was unable to be hit by the bombs. We're going to get a second cube of meat, and now I don't feel so bad about fighting Famine on the first floor. But I do feel kind of bad about the fact that, uh, unless we get a deal with the devil on this floor, we still have basically no useful items. Uh, I mean, toothpicks and meat, they're okay. Make some nice hors d'oeuvres. That's the hors d'oeuvres combo if we were playing a Little Inferno. I'm just guessing here. Uh, but, sadly, you know, I, I, I need more. As Eve, I need more tears, more damage, more everything. The ability to fly, permanent curse state. Give me some possibility to succeed. Even a single guppy's paw in a deal with the devil room. I don't need mom's knife. I don't need all that jazz. Bob Fosse style. I just need a way to lose all of my red hearts and then capitalize on my innate anger when I roll entirely on blue hearts. I love red. I hate blue. Insert some rooster teeth joke. I have no fucking idea. Just kill this pestilence dude, please, finally. Pestilence, if you will. We get a deal with the angel. That's, I want to give you hearts, angel. I want to give you hearts. We're going to take guardian angel. Sure, that's cool. Uh, and we're going to continue examining the rest of this floor. But in the meantime, have some coffee. I don't want to set the precedent for getting deals with the angel. I want the deals with the devil. What do we have here? More money. Okay, the shop's finally going to be worthwhile. Uh, it might have been regardless, but it's definitely going to... Uh, assuming it doesn't have greed, anyway, uh, it's going to be useful for us here. Let me... Uh, there's golden poop there. Let me give you my damn hearts. And f Of course, I probably would not have been too happy about giving like six hearts for... Uh, Guardian Angel, but okay, so we got Bum Friend, we got a Spirit Heart. I'm gonna buy the Spirit Heart, I'm gonna give Bum Friend the middle finger. I wanna get those two pennies, and I was able to do so without killing myself, which is nice. And we're just gonna go to every single room here, because I think I'm reasonably strong in relation to where we are in the game. We're 19 minutes in on the third floor, which is pretty disappointing. Uh, but, you know, maybe get another few charges on our. Well, the Spirit Heart is a nice drop. Um, get some more Spirit Hearts, get some more charges on our. Uh, deck of cards. I immediately regret this decision, but who knows? Maybe that mob trap room will make me not regret this decision anymore. So there is a little bit of money available, uh, but it's not really worthwhile for me at this point. You know, difference between 20 cents and 21 cents, not really a huge difference. Especially if we've had golden poop and a good secret room on this floor. 
but anyway, just continue moving around. This room went surprisingly better than expected. Just kill one more, and then I can stop dodging so crazily. That, oh, I really thought he would be dead now. There we go. Oh, and I took damage on the last dude! How is that possible? Uh, golden chest. Yeah, let's try it. Alright, we got a lot of benefit from that golden chest. I was hoping for a stats upgrade, obviously, but I can't complain about using, like, one key and getting uh, a key of bombs and a bunch of money in return. In the end, uh, we did turn that key into something much more than it was in the first place. And that's if I could do a Morgan Freeman voice, I would have done it there, right there. And he turned that key into much more than he expected. I don't know, that was pretty terrible. Eventually, I <laughs> like how all of my impressions are A, awful. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, like, trying to get attention. I know my impressions are bad. Uh, but I like how, unintentionally, they've all ended up somehow related to the Batman films. And I'm not even that big of a fan of the, the Nolan Batman films. I think they're good movies. But I'm not diehard like a lot of people. But yeah, like my shitty Bane voice, my shitty Michael Caine impression. And now apparently I'm trying to add a shitty Morgan Freeman uh, to just complete the supporting character trifecta there. Anyway. One of these days, I'll just record an entire video as the cast of Batman. I'll have to get Michael A.L. Fox, though, because he's got a great, like, Aaron Eckhart, Harvey Dent-style, Rachel! Anyway, we're gonna move onwards here. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. We're 21 minutes into the video, and we're almost done with the third floor. Round of applause, please. Mmm. Progress is remarkable. Caves Part 2. All right, let's start speeding things up. It's the kind of thing where, yes, we're doing poorly right now with respect to, um, you know, damage and future prospects and basically every metric except uh, our ability to survive. Wow, that was a lucky find on that secret room. However, things could turn around very quickly. It's our card, Justice. Alright, that's not so bad. Um, things could turn around. Wow, that's actually awesome. Things could turn around very quickly if we just manage to get Whore of Babylon up, which is totally possible. Uh, we are going to use a bomb here. Remember, we could just get a bomb. Oh, really? That's what the uh, Tinted Rock is going to give me? Two bombs? Well, we have another uh, Tinted Rock up here, so we might as well... Why, why would I waste a bomb doing that when the odds of Wrath blowing it up by accident are like 100%? That was a total waste of a bomb. I mean, we're not bomb poor right now, so it's not the end of the world. But we're also not bomb giants right now, so... Keep you stuck there. We're going to back it up, shoot the bombs. It'll hurt Wrath eventually. Maybe not. Please just get in my fuck zone here. Oh, come on. Stand still. I fought you a thousand times. We know how this is going to end, Wrath. It ends badly for you. Spoilers. Extra bombs again, which makes me feel good because I wasted some. We definitely uh, do not need that four cents. I think that was a motorcycle outside. If you guys picked that up on the audio, it sounded like somebody upstairs just released like an unbelievably massive fart and I was trying to stifle my laughter. Not to embarrass them. So instead of publicly embarrassing them uh, by, or instead of privately embarrassing them by laughing downstairs, I'm going to tell, you know, tens of thousands of people on the internet about it. <laughs> Suckers. We got the demon baby. Again, good item. Our, our familiars are great right now. Uh, but, you know, I would love to have the ability to do more damage myself. But Demon Baby is, is, is the kind of thing you uh, shouldn't really complain about because it's nice to get. You don't get it all that often. Uh, and when enemies get very close to you, it allows you to do a lot of damage to them. You know what this would work great in conjunction with? Oh, I don't know. Something that uh, generally forces you to struggle against small enemies that get close to you and do damage. Like a Brimstone or a Mom's Knife, for example. Which apparently just don't exist in the game anymore. Because you don't deserve deals with the devil because your mom doesn't love you. Apparently that's where we are right now. In the Binding of Isaac, bringing up my mommy issues, 404, 405 episodes in, trying to do better about remembering where I am in the scope of the series. Uh, so we're going to do this, you're going to die, we're going to get a red heart that we can't possibly use. At some point, we should be making our way to the shop, because we do have 50 cents. We had 15 on the last floor, uh, so we've really managed to turn things around fiscally. It's a rags to riches story for Eve. You know, it's nice to see the American dream can still be accomplished here. Do I sound enthused? I am very enthusiastic about it. Try to kill these uh, fistula over the gaps so that the silkworms don't actually spawn. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because we are hitting them fairly frequently. Let's check out our shop here. We got Book of Revelations. Does it beat the deck of cards? Well, first, use justice. Take everything. 
use the deck of cards again, the Magician. Might as well use it because it's garbage. Buy a Book of Revelations. This is going to allow us to get that third cube of meat and possibly succeed. Maybe. That's the whole reason I'm taking it right now. The Spirit Arts are nice. I mean, that's the other thing. I do want to get rid of my Red Hearts at some point, so... Having the Book of Revelations gives me a little bit of added security and that benefit. However, uh, mostly, I just want to ensure that I can get that like fourth cube of meat up, or third cube of meat at the very least, because uh, that's going to allow me to do damage. The cube of meat thing is kind of unreliable now, because Conquest occasionally will give you the cube of meat, or sometimes Conquest will occasionally give you the white pony, both of which uh, can be frustrating in their own right in different circumstances. However, that was a nice dodge. Just play cool. Um, I, this is not going well right here. I've got to, there we go. We've opened a seam on this room. Now, Demon Baby will just keep the crowd control going on that guy. Well, I finished the job. Come on, at least let me hit somebody. Thank you, Demon Baby. Now we'll go on this one. Oh, now this one. Now this one. Demon Baby, stop shooting! That should work. Okay, perfect. Now, what do we have in our mob trap room? We have a skeleton key! I will absolutely take it. That is one of the best mob trap room items we could possibly get. Still, though, like, we're <laughs> lacking the damage. We have the defense. We have the friends. Uh, but we absolutely... No, like, literally, I have the friends. The cast of friends locked in my basement right now. I really wanted to keep that going for, like, two minutes. But, unfortunately, I don't have the kind of brass sack to just commit to comedy like that. Anyway, you're gonna die. You are also gonna die. We're gonna get up to 30 cents. And hopefully the boss room is just right... Yeah, there it is. Now, what do we want to fight here? The Fallen. We want to fight the Fallen. We want the Fallen to give us the item that gives us a free blowjob every time we press the spacebar item. Now, realistically... Deal with the Devil. A almost any deal with the Devil. Guppy's Paw, I would be over the moon about. Chubb is okay. You know, I don't mind fighting Chubb. We'll probably drop a bomb or two into this fight to speed it up for us a little bit, because uh, otherwise it's going to take a while. This is Slow Chub, though, which is fine by me. Slow Chub, bow now, bow to, bow to, to take it. Slow Chub. Um, when I was hanging out with um, Mike and Josh in Niagara Falls around uh, New Year's this year, we went to this awful arcade. I think it might have actually just been like a Dave and Buster's or something. Memory's a little bit foggy, understandably. And they had like a machine set up, and it was Guitar Hero Arcade. It was just like a Guitar Hero game modified for the arcade so that it cost you a dollar per play. And I accidentally mashed the A button a lot, and we ended up playing against each other. Uh, slow Ride on Easy, which, you know, for people who previously played, I'm losing so many spirit arts in this room. For pe people who have previously played a lot of Guitar Hero, that was pretty goddamn not fun. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. The challenge runs, they've spoiled me, man, because typically they don't stretch longer than, like, half an hour. That's not going to be the case on our uh, New Year's Eve run here. What a fitting story for a New Year's Eve run, also. Probably don't want to mess around with that because we're already fine with money bombs and keys. No need to possibly risk taking some damage on a uh, mob trap room. But seriously, just give me a deal with the devil, man. For once, I don't want deals with the angel, unless you're going to give me sacred tears, in which case I renounce everything that I previously said. Uh, just give me the opportunity to trade hearts to you for high damage items at an exorbitant cost. That would be fantastic. I would love it. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up going to uh, the arcades and like losing all my money in a blood or losing all my health in a blood bank to try to put myself in this permanent horror Babylon state, which is never good because you always end up picking red hearts up by accident. Alright, so we got the boss room here. You might be saying, Northern Lion, you should go to the boss room right away. Well, for once, I disagree with you. Most of the time, I do subscribe to that philosophy. However, wow, good good damage resistance so far. Uh, I really want to make sure that I get my cube of meat charged before the boss, because I want to make sure I'm fighting war, because I want to make sure I get the third meat boy. Because if I don't have the third meat boy, I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough damage to the uh, enemies to succeed past a floor or two here. Man, I hate Eve. When I, I realized that when I got, like, Platinum God, I was like, Whoa! Never have to play Eve or Blue Baby again! Sometimes it's nice to you just, you know, get a taste of variety. Uh, but for whatever reason, Troll Engine hates Eve, man. I've had, like, three good Eve runs, and she's been in the game since October 31st, 2011. That's a long-ass time. Yes, it was Eve who got into the Halloween update. Samson was the, uh, Wrath of the Lamb. In any case, 
You guys might not have known this. Uh, I keep getting asked about like if I have information on the Binding of Isaac rebirth. The answer to that question is no, because I'm not Edmund McMillan. You can ask him questions on his form spring if you want. Uh, but what I do know about it, that a lot of people uh, seem to be asking, is that, like, why would I pay for a remake when I already own the Binding of Isaac? Well, it also includes an expansion the size of uh, Wrath of the Lamb. So there's going to be like another few floors added to the game. It's going to be fucking insane. Uh, sure, we'll take our spirit heart. Why not take the steam sale? We already have so much money. Uh, and I'm just going to do the entire floor here before we go to the boss, just to clear it out, basically. At least go to the item room. Uh, but yes, yeah, so people are asking, like, is the, is the remake going to be free for people who already bought it? No, because, I mean, it, it's also coming out on other platforms. I mean, it's not like you could just roll up the PSN or, you know, the eShop or something and be like, Well, I already own this on PC, so I'll be taking my copy for the price of On the House, please. Uh, but yeah, it's also including, like, another... Anarchist cookbook garbage. Uh, it's also including another, uh, full-sized expansion to it. So it's gonna be definitely, uh, you know, the value proposition there is fair, I think. I'm gonna look for our secret room because, uh, there is the chance, of course, for Epic Fetus. Or just six cents, which could help me. I mean, 40 cents plus the Steam sale should basically last me through that final shop. Which almost certainly will have a greed in it, because I don't think we've encountered one so far. Again, awesome uh, dodging on my part. And there's another hit, so let's just continue to take awful damage. But hey, I'm amassing spirit hearts at the same time. And we should fight war here, get that third level Q of meat. Maybe, just maybe, I have the potential to uh, succeed on this run. I doubt it. Oh, Polyphemus is actually the absolute perfect thing for us to get there. We're going to be shooting fairly quickly. Well you know, relatively speaking, uh, for Polyphemus. And we're actually doing damage for once. This could be exactly what I need to turn this around. We pick up the cube of meat, we get Polyphemus, we get a deal with the devil here. Uh, Bob's your uncle, everyone's happy, and we are well on our way to success with the amount of health that we have. We'll see, though. Who are we fighting? Yes, indeed, it is war Fucking Conquest. Don't give me that white pony bullshit, Conquest. I'll beat your candy ass down. I hate Conquest for being the ultimate destroyer. I mean, this means we should get Death on the Womb, and at the very least, later we'll get like a third level Meat Boy. But I want that fourth level Meat Boy. Oh, that, that was terrible. That's where the money is. Ah, oh, stop taking damage. This means deal with the Devil is probably pretty unlikely here. Uh, thank you, Dead Bird, for doing something. I appreciate that. Most of the time, I, you know, just yell at you. So it's it's nice for me to recognize your accomplishments on the rare occasion that they do happen. Uh. Conquest is almost dead here. Polyphemus, as you can see, not a game winner for us by itself, but definitely a very welcome item. Oh my god, we do have a deal with the devil. And we did get a cube of meat. And we did get... Oh, here we go. It's the greatest. And we're just gonna take this, and then we're gonna pick up Book of Revelations again. So we're in our Whore of Babylon state. In the last few rooms, we picked up Third Level Meat Boy, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, Whore of Babylon, and Permanent Invincibility from the Polaroid as soon as we beat Mom. And my coffee's done. Excellent. All right, so 33 minutes. Things are finally looking up for Eve here. Now, I would absolutely love if we had gotten the nun's habit earlier, but, you know, sadly that did turn out to be impossible. However, uh, if we can get a battery or something on this floor, just really not greed in the shop is my number one goal right now. What do you want on this floor? Just not greed. But now we are doing so much damage that I really should just stop complaining because, uh, you know, basically the world is our oyster. Or the world is our burrito, as Weird Al Yankovic might say. So, make sure he's dead. Third level Meat Boy, feel free to uh, do some chewing here. And save my life, you know. Because my range is still pretty low. It's making it a little difficult to take this guy out from afar, whilst re return of Jafar. Uh, take this guy, what am I even talking about? Just, ah, uh, Meat Boy or Dead Bird or Demon Baby, somebody shoot the fucking things! There we go, okay. So that was the worst dead end of all time. That room should not have been nearly as difficult as it was. Just play it cool. You got all the ingredients for making a good run. Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, Book of Revelations, Third Level Meat Boy. Amazingly, all came together all at once. Also, tons of dimes for whatever reason. There's Lemon Mishap, not interested. Golden Chest, with an Eternal Heart. We don't want to pick up that Eternal Heart. That's our challenge on this room. I would love to pick up the bomb, because we might need that for the mom's heart boss fight. But just don't accidentally dodge into the eternal heart and ruin your fucking run. 
These guys are gonna die so quickly. And now we're really seeing the power. Whenever we have like single target foes or like rooms with not too many foes, uh, we can see how powerful this Mom's Knife Polyphemus combo is. I mean, we've seen it dozens of times before in other challenge runs as well, but feels good, man. Now, if I could only gain the ability to fly somehow, maybe a deal with the Angel. They can show up in the same run uh, as we saw in one of our races with green. Kill him! Kill him dead! There we go. Uh, Book of Revelations is going to be back. Shop. Uh, we knew it had to happen. I can't be too sore about it. Because of how awesome the last floor was and how quickly we killed Greed in the first place. Uh, but I was really hoping we'd get a battery or something. Alas, no such luck. Now we killed that guy in one hit. The problem is I need like extra range now. For once I actually want to get uh, like Mom's heals or something along the same lines. And out of context to the people living upstairs, that probably sounds pretty fucking crazy. Also, I really do have roommates. When I say, like, the people living upstairs, I'm not just talking about my parents or something. Like, I hate them. Yeah, dude. what movie was that? Is that fucking Grandma's Boy? People have a reverence for Grandma's Boy that I don't understand. I think Grandma's Boy is, like, a garbage movie. But it was pretty funny how the guy referred to his parents as his roommates. Oh, that was in the Flight of the Concords television show as well. Mom is basically dead here. One more foot. We'll do it. Uh, we'll take Mom's heels. Accordingly, I don't know if Child's Heart helped us out that much, but I appreciated service, and we got another Spirit Heart as well. It's down to the next floor, and we will get a Book of Revelations charge easily. Boom XL, beautiful. We'll get a Book of Revelations charge easily before our uh, first fight, which means we will be fighting Death, which means we should get fourth level Meat Boy, which means we'll be even more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Let's just walk into this doppelganger. We've got a very good anti-doppelganger set up here. Mom's Knife, Guardian Angel, and Demon Baby, and third level Meat Boy. We basically should not have to sweat doppelgangers at all. Now, here's the thing. I want this guy to give me a compass or, you know, any other passive item that is not a health upgrade, basically. Ladder. That's beneficial, believe it or not. It's not great. It's not going to win the game for us, but without the ability to fly, which is actually rare to not have by this point of the game, uh, it's, it's not bad. And we're making very good progress here, just abandoning some of the money, because at, at some point, you know, you can't take it with you. No, oh, hey, where'd you go? I can't believe I didn't get hit there, despite my, like, absolutely awful pseudo-dodge. These guys are dead. Now, just don't miss. Easier said than done, but we made it work there. Red chest could be beneficial for us, who knows? Oh! Uh, no. I don't want to do that, because that would just take me to Shoal. Okay, that was weird. I made the right decision. I know that for sure, but uh, at the same time, that, that would have been a terrible decision. First off, we would have missed out on the cathedral and the chest. We would have beaten Satan easily. would have taken like all the joy out of the end of this run, which is going to be fairly tight to the wire, I think. Uh, we wouldn't have gotten our fourth level Q of meat. We still might not. I don't know. We, we could end up fighting the pony or something, because Book of Revelations is weird like that. Um, and we would have missed out on Mom's heart, which I guess doesn't really hurt us that much, but, or at all, maybe. I can't believe I didn't get hit there, and now my luck is sort of turning around. I'm, I'm amazing, or I'm amazed, I'm, I wouldn't want to say I'm amazing, but I'm amazed that I'm managing to make some good stuff happen here. Thank you, Laser, for destroying that doppelganger so I didn't have to. Demon Baby did the hard work there as well. We don't know where our boss rooms are, and this is a big floor, but I'm okay with that, because actually I'm amassing a lot more spirit arts than I'm losing at, the, at this point. That is probably my favorite room to run into right now. Maggie's Faith is a little too little too late. That's okay, because I didn't want it anyway. And that's our first time getting hit since losing all of our uh, Spirit Hearts. We got a Spirit Heart as well. Pop the World card. We were going the right way in the first place. All right. Let's go through these other rooms. Should be easy enough for us to get through without uh, requiring a backtrack. Peep stood no chance. So we should be fighting Death. And then we'll get our fourth level Meat Boy. Then we'll fight Mom's Heart. And I'm pretty sure it's funny, we were like 25 minutes on Caves Part 2. I'm pretty sure we're going to get up to the Cathedral by like 42 minutes at the very latest. So that's good progress. Oh, careful. I mean, we did have to restart this run, but at the same time... Oh, I'm trapped. <laughs> at the same time, I appreciate the game for helping me out here when I needed it the most. More money, more bombs. I like it. We should be fighting death, as I've mentioned like seven or eight times. It is indeed death. He should be entering... Oh, man, he doesn't create sights. He instead creates bomb flies. But he's also dead now, so he creates nothing at all. 
Nothing at all. Nothing at all. We're going to take some easy shots at this horse. I'm going to get hit, which was unexpected. We're going to get this cube of meat. I'm not going to take the pill because the pill could be a health upgrade. And I absolutely do not want that destroying my chances at this point in the run. So we're just going to let uh, Meat Boy do what he does. If we get hit, Dead Bird will do what he does. We have to be careful because the bombs are going to be uh, potentially kicked by Meat Boy, which obviously we don't want to happen. Okay, he's dead. And actually, we can just, yeah, we don't even need to use any more bombs. Just do things this way. Meat Boy will either finish the job or uh, a single mom's knife will do it. So it's up to the cathedral. Oh, I walked on the creep like an idiot because I thought I could fly. Anyway, that was stupid damage, but shit happens. The angel fetuses are getting BR'd here. Uh, I want that, but I also don't want to risk getting hit by the spikes, so I think I'm just going to avoid it for now. I can't quite parse where these guys are going, but that's okay because there's only one left. And he is now dead as well. Why are we getting so many money drops? Like, not just from uh, Sack of Pennies. It seems like we're getting a lot of just kind of random money drops. That was a nice chain reaction. I will always welcome that on those rooms. And coming down this way... Oh! I don't like this room. This is the kind of room you can get hit on a lot. Uh, so, in doing so, we'll just keep this up. These guys are mostly dead. At this point, it should be a fairly easy room to not get destroyed on. Uh, but we will just kill this final remaining fistula. Take our two bombs here. And sadly, we've reached a dead end. But we're very close to the end. And Loki is a, an okay room to run into at this point. He's still kind of annoying. But double bomb flies don't represent a substantial threat. So, kind of a marathon run here, but we are getting fairly close. There's the, the boss. Excellent. And I think it should be easy enough to kill him. I think it's going to take like 10, 15 shots maybe. Uh, and in doing so, uh, the problem here is that I actually, for once, don't want Cube of Meat to do any attacking. But anyway, in one uh, quick spell there, we got hit once. And we actually gained spirit hearts on that fight, believe it or not. But we got hit once and managed to destroy Isaac. Let's see what we've got in our chest items here. I like our chances. Anything could still happen, though. These are garbage items so far. Uh, well, that's actually a blessing in disguise. But do I want to reroll Book of Revelations? Yes, we'd probably only gain like one or two spirit hearts from it at this point, And it's worth it to try to get three new items. Uh, we don't want any of these either. The Game Kid's okay. But let's just try to reroll like all four of these again. We should, it's going to take us like six rooms or three rooms, three rooms is D6. I should know that off the top of my head by now. Three rooms to get our D6 recharged and we can possibly get another spell of awesome items. Uh, this is a very interesting proposition. I've never been in this kind of situation before where I've wanted like the, a full reroll of all chest items twice. Uh, but we're killing things so fast that it doesn't really matter. There's some extra bombs for us. Not really that handy. Uh, wafer absolutely is something we're going to take. That is awesome. That is better than any HP upgrade we could have gotten at this point. Let us go check out what we've got in here. Reroll it again. Um, Daddy Long Legs will take. Unicorn Horn might be worthwhile. Rosary, I think, gives us red hearts, which we don't want. So I guess, you know, there's one item down. Let's just continue onwards, though. Uh, what did we get there? Oh, Daddy Long Legs. This is a solid item. It only goes once on the Isaac boss fight, but, you know, anything that helps us uh, speed up these rooms, or Blue Baby boss fight, I should say, but anything that speeds up these rooms before that is okay in my books. Oh, don't want that. So we're just going to try not to lose any more health, because that is a, a sore spot for us. Although, to be fair, the, the wafer makes things a lot easier on us. And as we can continue to just reroll things here, uh, I think we'll be okay. Thank you, Bloat, for um, completely spitting in my face there. But again, only half the spirit heart lost. Uh, we have the relic, which we'll take. We have little Steven, which we'll take. And we might reroll that monstrous tooth just one more time. Monstrous tooth is not a bad item. Uh, it's just not the item I need right now. I really want something to give me the either incredible more damage, not that we necessarily need it, uh, or more spirit hearts, basically. So he's going to be dead. That was very easy. One more room, and we will have D6 recharged again. We're basically engineering the greatest run we could possibly imagine right now. Uh, we're on the chest. We have Wafer, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, Whore of Babylon, uh... Permanent Invincibility from the Polaroid. Fourth level Meat Boy. I already say that. The Relic. Uh, Razor Blade we're not going to take. Although that would make things very interesting for sure. Gertie is a free fight here basically. And we got a Spirit Heart randomly just dropped there. So the, the longer it takes for me to find the boss, the happier I am, believe it or not. 
uh, as it should be very easy for us to uh, make our way through here. Like I said, every hit only costs us half a spirit heart, so even getting hit is not that big of a deal, although I would love to have as much health as possible for this blue baby fight. We can absolutely tank it with our existing amount of health. You know what? Sure. In the end, I ended up going with an attack fly. Might seem crazy. I'm just sick of backtracking at this point. So we have another dead end, which is fine by me. Probably should have gone with like a game kit or unicorn horn, considering that I'm uh, gonna be rolling with this as my, like D6 is going to be my final spacebar item in the chest. Seems a little bit crazy, but alas. It's not like uh, that represents a serious problem for us. Oh, I guess we can get Mr. Boom if we want. Sure, let's take Mr. Boom instead. Or, actually, you know what? Let's re-roll Mr. Boom if we can. Because uh, we've got another dead end here, sadly. One of these guys has got to be dead soon. That's bad damage for me to take, but it's going to allow me to finish the room as well. I'm not going to take the pill because it could be a health upgrade. Maybe later. That's uh, blood rights, so we're not going to take that. Just going to speed through. Oh, I can't believe it hit me. Anyway, we're going to be fighting Blue Baby next. The nightmare's over. And we should be able to defeat him very, very easily just by tanking shots if necessary. But I don't even think it's necessary. I'm amazed with how lucky this run turned out in the end. We're just going to stand right next to him. And he will be dead in like 10 hits. That was so easy. Thank you for the spirit heart. Well, thank you for joining me, everybody. That was not a challenge run, but I was challenged at times. And in any case, again, continue suggesting your challenge runs. I just felt like doing a vanilla run here. Fairly, you know like low intensity to start off my day at 12.22 p.m. But in any case, continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones I deem most appropriate, entertaining, absurd, etc., etc. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.